Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Zero Analyst. This is the day 39 of our 100 days SQL challenge. Today we're going to solve one of the really interesting SQL questions that was asked very recently to one of my followers in Airbnb data analyst interview. So let's see the question. So the question is, you are given a customer's a table with a two column, customer's ID which is a number and customer name which is a customer name. You can see now we have three records in the table. It says write a SQL query to find the missing customer IDs. The missing IDs are one that are not in the customer's table but are in the range between one and the maximum customer ID present in the customer table. There is a note, it says the maximum customer's ID will not exceed 100. Now we need to find out the missing customer's IDs. If you see the table, in the table we have customer's ID which is 1, 4, 5. So starting from 1 to 5, we need to find out the missing customer's ID which is going to be 2 and 3, right? You can see the customer names. If you think you can solve this problem before I share my approach, you can pause the video, download the data set from the video descriptions, try to solve by yourself, share your approach in the comment box and I would definitely reply to that. Let me share my approach to solve this problem. So first of all, I'm going to use a recursive city to solve this problem. I'll need to create a number series starting from the first employee to the last employee. For that, I would need to create a recursive city, which is start with with and I would say recursive and I can give any city name. So I'm just going to give name called numbers and I would just need to say S and here I can simply go ahead and use this parenthesis. So here I'm going to use a recursive city. So if you do not know recursive city, in this video, you're going to learn how to create a recursive city and what kind of problem you can solve using recursive city. So I'm going to say select one as ID. Okay, so simple query. I'm saying select one as ID. When if I run it, you can see I'm getting one, right? Very simple approach. And in recursive city, you can refer to this city itself within this city. That is the benefit. You just need to say union. Okay. Now this is our main member. This is our main member. Okay. This one is the main member and uh, we would say union all. So here I would say select ID from this table. See now there is a table that is going to be created by recursive this CTE. So from this table I am selecting ID which I created earlier. Okay. So I am selecting the main member ID and I would just go ahead and say plus one. So simply I am just saying select ID this ID plus one. Very simple till now. Okay. I would simply say from where I am getting it from these numbers so that means itself from the city e i am just getting it here select id plus one so along with this id i'm just adding one and i'm getting it from numbers okay very simple so here nothing complicated so this is a fine so this is going to be my recursive member okay now what is this recursive member is going to do i will explain in a while okay now my this city table is ready which is called numbers okay now my this numbers city is ready so i can simply add a where condition and i can say where id less than let's say five let me just give you an example okay let's say less than five and uh, now my this number city is ready i can simply show you what i have in this number city i would say select id from numbers okay now if i just run this query okay if I run this query, you will see that I have everything starting from one to five. Okay. So let's understand how it is working. Okay. So here I'm saying select one as a ID. So that means I'm just creating a select statement and I'm just naming it as an ID. Okay. That is my main member. Okay. Then I'm doing a union. So when you do union, so let's say you have one. Okay. In a column called ID, in a column called ID, let's say you have one. And if you do union, okay, with this, let's say you are here, you're doing union. Here you are doing with union with some other select statement. Okay. So in that select statement, you are going to select what? You are going to select this ID, this ID. Okay. That is going to be one of course. And you are saying plus one. Okay. So that means the first number in that select statement is going to be what? That's going to be two, right? So that is fine. So in this recursive member, it is going to keep on kind of doing this till the time this condition doesn't fulfill. Okay. So once this condition is fulfilled, it, this recursive member is going to stop. Okay. So first it check ID plus one, that's going to be two. So that's my first record. Then it is going to again check ID. So now the ID is two. So we are again adding one. So that's going to be three. So three, then we are going to just put the three here. Okay. Before putting it, we will check if this three is less than five. Yes. Okay. Then we're going to check for four. Then we're going to check for five. So when this ID become five, if you add a five plus one. So that's going to be six. So six is not less than five. So that's where it is going to stop. Okay. So you would have a series from one to five in this. Okay. 
So the reason why I'm showing it, I will explain in a while. Okay, so now we have seen that how this recursive CT works. So now what I need to do is that simple. I would just say that ID must be less than 100. That's my first condition because here if you see the question, it says that the maximum customer ID will not exceed 100. Okay, so I'm just adding a one condition call ID must be less than 100. Okay, that's my one condition. Second condition, I want to add one more where conditions, which is using end logic. So I would say ID less than what so here i would say select customer id from my main table which is the customers table so i hope you remember i do have a table called customers table that has some records okay so i'm saying select customers id from customers table so i get all the customers id right so here instead of getting the customers id i can simply use max okay that means it's going to return the biggest number okay from that customers table that's going to be five. So I'm saying ID must be less than 100 and ID must be less than the biggest number of this table, which is called customer table. Okay. That is fine. Now, if I just print this, you will see that I will have only ID starting from one to five. Okay. Because one is the first ID, because again, if you see the question, it says that the missing IDs are one that are not in the table customer table but are in the range between one and the maximum customer ID so one is the included right so that's the reason I'm saying the first member is one first customer is one and then the maximum I'm getting using this logic I'm also ensuring that it doesn't exit 100 okay so that is fine so I am having one two three four five everything from this numbers okay so let me just organize it now here i would just need to use one more where condition smartly to ensure that i only get all those id which are not in this customers table so i would say that where id not in and here i'm just going to say that select this okay and i would just remove this max here and i'm saying select customers id from the customers table so this returns all the customers id that i already have in the customers table which is one four and five Okay, and if you remember this return everything from the first member to the last members of this table. So that was one to five. And if I now run this query, you will see that it's going to only give me those record where the customer ID is not there in this customer's table. So that is how we have solved this problem. Now you can solve this problem using window functions as well without making it so complicated. But the, the question is that in the interviewer, it was clearly mentioned, the instruction was clearly mentioned that you cannot use a window function. So that means you need to use a recursive CT to solve this problem. You can also use join, but that will get a little complicated. You can use self join. Okay. I find this approach much, uh, you know, helpful and much easy to kind of, you know, interpret. Now, if you have any other approach to solve this problem, do let me know in the comment box. So that is how we have solved this problem. Let me just add some records. Okay. Let me, let me just go ahead and add some records to show you if this query is going to work or not okay let's say i am adding one record at 101 the customer name is john one more rec record which is 99 the customer name is mike okay let's go ahead and run this query this time so we if you see this customer table this time if you see this customer's table let me just run this this time if you see this customer's table we have total five records okay six records I think total five records one record customer side is 101 one record is 99 so that means this time the customers id which is from 6 to 99 these are missing right so we should be getting all those customers id let's kind of verify if our query is working properly or not all right perfect now if you see we have two which is missing that is correct we have three which is missing then six seven eight till you will see 98 okay so that means till 98 we are having the records and 100 also we are having which is missing why because it says that if you see our table we do not have a customers by 100 okay if you see do not have a customers by 100 but we have 101 okay but if you see the question it says that customer table are range between one and the maximum customers present in the table which will not exceed 100 that means it cannot exceed 100 but what 100 can be included right that's the reason you see that in the results i was getting 100 that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching the video till the end i hope you have learned something new today if yes do subscribe to my youtube channel if you're new to this channel and i will see you in the next video till then keep learning and stay consistent have a good one take care bye, -bye.